What's up Nitro Union? Welcome back to the channel and uh, today we got something a little bit different for you. Um, I bought something at auction, sight unseen, and I uh, thought you guys might want to check it out. It's pretty interesting, cool little hot rod. A buddy of mine called. He said, uh, hey man, I think I might have something at uh, here at the auction that you might be interested in checking out. So this is a 95 GT Mustang convertible five-speed car and uh, he called me and he, he didn't really look at it that close. He sent me a couple pictures and uh, said that uh, he fired it up and it had exhaust on it obviously and uh, sounded like it might be cammed so i was like all right i'm interested um anything cammed is interesting to me so uh so anyway got online and uh figured i'd check it out the auction was the next day didn't have time to go look at it so i figured hey if it's cheap enough i'll take a gamble so i'm just now this thing just got dropped off here so i'm just now checking it out so um pretty stop looking stock looking deal i see a aftermarket uh bulkhead looks like maybe for a, a clutch or something i immediately see power steering fluid so i'm going to go ahead and check the fluids on this deal while um before i even try to fire it up just to double check uh, there is coolant is full it's okay oil is black but um about halfway up the stick so i can live with that this uh power steering situation is kind of concerning oh my gosh I see a uh, four gauge wire and a fuse holder like there's probably has been at some point an aftermarket uh system in here and wow power steering pump is bone dry so try to get some power steering fluid um because that's obviously if it's dry like that it's obviously not going to work so it'd be nice to have some power steering before i try to drive this thing so we'll do that real quick be right back luckily i looked inside the car it actually came with some power steering fluid so that's convenient because we didn't have any yeah so then we we'll shut the hood and uh hop in and fire it up and see what's up all right, one of the first things I noticed is uh, the windshield is tinted, which is horrible because I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, the battery's not dead. Neutral. Uh, the shifter actually feels like it's probably an aftermarket short throw of some sort. All right, let's hit this key. blowing cold which is big plus let her warm up a little bit all right all right not too bad so while we're waiting on it to warm up once my buddy told me about it i was like i was like all right so i got online checked it out and added it to my watch list i was gonna be watching the auction anyway so uh so I got on there the next morning, and uh, man, when it came across, they kept dropping it down. Couldn't get anybody to bid on it, and uh, they dropped it to a point where I was like, "All right, I'm gonna get on it," and uh, that's cheap enough for me. So, um, so yeah, it came on down, and uh, I had one guy in against me, and I clicked a few bids, man, and, and he hammered it sold. And I was like, "Wow, that's crazy." I mean, it's it was cheap, you know, cheap for a, a GT V8 Mustang that runs. You know, of course, it's a little bit of a gamble. I may find something with the transmission or the rear end or something like that, but uh, oh, it just idled down. I don't know if you can hear it chopping, but that is a pretty good little cam. Reverse, we're moving. 
got to be mindful of the suspension because it's incredibly low. Power steering line does have first gear. Oh, <laughs> it's rubbing bad. little car it's got the black leather or vinyl seats there's some wires and stuff like that some tan interior mixed in but um really not too bad overall we got this one tire is bald it does have spacers on the wheels and i got a feeling it's gonna rub the whole cam is chopping and the trunk obviously the latch isn't working. Yeah, nothing. So obviously, you can tell it's been rubbing pretty bad. Yeah, it's got spacer, those spacers all the way around, and those are the 18 inch Celine style wheels. So, got this one spot right here. It's like it backed into something, or somebody backed into it. The old custom paint job is really not, not that bad. All right, guys. So I'd say that's a pretty successful purchase. I mean, it uh, it does burn outs. It's a uh, pretty cool. It was cheap. Uh, transmission is definitely questionable. Um, power steering is also very questionable. But uh, overall, it's a, uh, it's not bad for the money I spent. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Probably, I'll probably end up putting it up for sale because honestly, I can't really afford to keep it. I got too many projects as it is. Y'all know that. Everybody wants me to work on some things and can't work on other things. Uh, you're probably wondering about the 70 Mach 1. And uh, yeah, we've been working on it. Uh, it's been really busy. We've been buying um, inventory cars. As you know, tax season is coming up and that's our busiest time of year. So, um, but there it is. Um, working on fitting headers and stuff like that now. You guys will see an episode as soon as I get to a milestone. I really want to get it running. Um, so as soon as I get it running, I might have an episode out. So it's not going to be any certain day, hopefully early next week. Um, but uh, yeah, but I picked up this car and thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. And we'll test it out together and see what she does and see what's wrong with it and all that good stuff. So, and it was fun. It's got a couple things wrong, but that's no big deal. That's the car life. That's what we do. So now I got to figure out what to do with it. Put it up for sale as it is, or I may, may look at the power steering at least. Um, and, uh, rest of it i may let her rip so i can make a couple bucks on it let her go to somebody else i do like the wheels though i've got a 98 that's also has second gear tore up in it i'd love to swap that entire drivetrain into my car but uh like i said that's another project for another day that i don't really have time for at the moment so but uh anyway so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one